Well, the inspiration behind the cinema suite at 51 Buckingham Gate was cinema, of course, world cinema, cinema from Hollywood, cinema from Bollywood, Indian cinema, you know, cinema from all across the world. But more than that, you know, it was life and travel in different cultures because, you know, I design clothes uh, you know, I'm not someone who designs hotels. So as an outsider, I wanted to design a hotel suite that felt like a home because I stay a major part of my life in hotels. So I know what it feels for a long haul traveler to kind of stay in a hotel. So wanted to do something that looked like a well-traveled home, which had a lot of diverse cultures, which kept someone excited, even if someone had to stay for 20 days at a time. The living room, which is the epicenter of the suite, is quite colorful. It's inspired by world cinema. One of the first things that we got into the living room was the Chesterfield that I'm sitting on because I wanted to celebrate British furniture. We got in a lot of handicrafts from India, lovely oil paintings of uh, movie stars depicted in oil and tempura with beautiful gilded frames. There were beautiful tapestries, kilim carpets. But the main focus of the cinema suite is, of course, the grand 85-inch high-definition television with sound system that's created by the legendary uh, Stein Willendorf and it just draws you in because the vision is absolutely crystal clear and you can put on your 3D glasses and enjoy the most wonderful films, great music and for me it's the best thing that the cinema suite has to offer. The dining room is very earthy, it's almo it almost has a brooding quality to it because there's so much wood in it. There's a wooden dining table with padded leather chairs reminiscent of the Art Deco period. There's beautiful cutlery and crockery from all over the world, vintage cut glasses from Baccarat which we source from antique shops. And the most beautiful thing about the dining room is the backdrop which has been created by a Jean Monnaie painting which has been transformed into a wallpaper. And of course the bar because it's very extensive. So there's a lot of merrymaking and a lot of socializing that can be done in this suite. And once you're done with all of it, just sit down, relax and watch a movie. Bollywood bedroom is quite majestic, you know, it's inspired by the Maharajas, by the British Raj, by legendary filmmakers and the towering films, you know, filmmakers like Merchant Ivory by Satyajit Ray, Bimal Roy. It has a great four-poster bed, fantastic furnishings. But the most beautiful thing is that it has got beautiful warm muted colours and it's a perfect solution for a winter night. The Hollywood bedroom has been inspired by a little fairy tale inside my head about an American actress's escapade in Paris. So I wanted to create something which was very la -dida, which evoked 1950s Paris. So of course we have the red walls which is reminiscent of Monroe's lipstick, beautiful brocade and satin sheets in gold, lovely tapestry, you know, baroque mirrors. It almost has a boudoir-like quality and it can't get more glamorous than that. The study was actually inspired by forbidding films and the gravitas of directors like Francis Ford Coppola, by Ingmar Bergman, Satyajit Ray. So it was very cultural, yet very sophisticated. And I think it's a perfect room for a person to kind of retire at night and, you know, do a little bit of intelligent writing. You know, I've stayed in different hotels all over the world. Even with the most of opulence, I think that there is a little bit of a cookie cutter syndrome where Everything somehow looks replicated in every other room. The beauty of the cinema suite is because we've sourced from 70, 80 vendors from all over the world and most of them are from curio stores, it can never really be replicated. So it feels like a hotel suite that has been done with a lot of heart and with a little less of mind. <laughs>